What's going on, everybody out there on the internet? It's me, Ferret Angel. Welcome back. Today is a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna play a, some some restoration today, and that's what I feel like playing. I feel like being a healer today. It's one of those days. Um, it's been a while since I've queued as healer. Um, for talents, I'm basically just going turret torrent to increase my um, Riptide's heal, uh, Echo the Elements to have more Riptide charges and stuff. Basically going like full Riptide right now. I'm a big fan of Riptide. Riptide is my instant heal that then leaves a, uh, a heal over time on them. Um, as for moves <coughs> that I've gotten since then, um, nothing too different. In rest, though, other than you get um, Spirit Walker's Grace, which is a two-minute cooldown that allows you to cast while moving. Um, and then I also got Healing Rain, but I think I already had that. I don't remember if I had this last time I healed, but it's basically an AoE that you put on the ground, and it heals anybody that's standing on top of it. And that's all it is. It's just a big giant puddle is what it is. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and queue. Today we've got quite a bit of these gonna queue as healer should get a pretty fast queue when you queue, queue as healer we're getting close to finally doing all the classic dungeons classic and burning crusade have the most amount of dungeons out of all of them so once you get out of these two expansions then it's you know I'll actually be able to play and um, yeah you can actually do some damage as as an element or a Sorry, a resto shaman too, because you actually do get lava surge as well whenever you're in this spec. So you do get those instant lava burst procs, which is very nice. It's, you don't do as much damage, but you do do some damage. Okay, I guess I don't have. Um, what I'm gonna put on my mount. I'm gonna put on my random mount button. Some of my mammoth. All right, well, we're going to go talk to the mossy pile. Uh-oh, fell. I fell through. We're going to fall through the muscle pile. Um, also, I have been putting out alerts. I don't know if anybody has me added on this, but I have been putting out alerts for people who that anybody wants to join my party. It's more than welcome to. But uh, nobody's nobody's done it. Like, the last, like, three times I've recorded, I've been like, hey. Hey, anybody wants to wants to come and partied it up but nobody uh nobody's wanting it Ooh, razor fin downs razor fin downs is a pretty nice one i don't mind this i don't mind razor fin downs at all oh never mind we're not gonna get it anyways never mind oh black rock depths the tension block Oh, not getting that one either. Okay, nobody's wanting to accept their cues today. That's say, hey, okay, that's fine. That's fine, man. I'll just go turn in all this. They um they recently did an update too and merged like servers, more servers together. So a lot of the dead servers are not uh, a lot. A lot of servers are merged now and um. I have no idea if this character's server was merged with anything. I have no idea. Where's my yak? Oh, I don't have my yak on this on this spec. Let me go ahead and put my yak in the bar so I can transmog. I don't think I'm going to get any new transmogs available until I'm level 60. Yeah. I could change my thing up to a mace. Do I have any cool looking maces? Not really, no. All of the classic maces are really ugly. I do have some fist weapons though. I got my black drake claw. Yeah. My silithid claw. I like the black drake claw more. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, black we'll do a black drake claw with uh Oh yeah, I got my Lionheart shield. Do I have my felt? Yes, I do. My Skull Flame shield. My favorite. I have the original Skull Flame shield. If you guys don't know, this the shield look is very easy to get now because there's a dungeon that drops it and Burning Crusade. But I have the legit, very, very low drop 
chants from Lower Blackrock Spire. Lower Blackrock Spire, there's like only a certain amount of mobs that have a chance to drop, but then it's like 0.02% chance. It's really freaking low. And I got, I, I got it. Farmed a lot. And I freaking got it, man. And I have the original Skull Flame Shield. That's what I'm talking about. As you can see, I don't do much, much damage, but uh, I don't die. I'll, I'm a healer now. Heal myself up. And my healing stream totem, I have two charges of that with my Echoes of Elements, too. I need to get this flight path while I'm here. Apparently nobody is, uh, we've gone through, what, like four different queues now? Nobody's, nobody's wanting to, wanting to queue up, I guess. For shame. For shame. I have, like, no haste. I even have my haste trinkets up, and it's still not really doing a whole lot. Alright, what are we supposed to be doing? We're supposed to be getting scales. Getting scales and tar. Mmm, mmm. The double shot. Um, all right, yeah, so we got it. Oh, okay, come on, are we gonna, are we gonna get a group that's actually gonna accept their queue? Come on. I've gotta get scales, then I gotta go up and get tar and tar blossom and then discard. Okay, I know these quests. I know these quests. Ooh, I about went backwards out of the Uldemon. Okay, Uldemon is another, another big one. Um, it's pretty big. It's got what one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I think there's like two other bosses that are isn't showing. Quite a bit of bosses. Gonna go ahead and do some damage here. Uh, but we're gonna be doing healer now, so my um. Oh crap, this guy is... You're going a little bit too ham, dude. You're going... A... I can't... Alright. So, Uldemon is... Um, it has to do with the Titans and stuff. Oh crap. He's taking a lot of damage. All right, I don't know if I'll be able to read much about this. If anything, I'll read it afterwards, the adventure guide. Because it looks like this guy is going to go ham on the mobs. So it might be a little difficult to read stuff while he's dying. So I might just wait till afterwards. Crap, he's gonna die. Oh, he just healed himself. Gonna go. Whew. Damn. She heals a lot. It's a drain eye paladin. Pa that paladin healing. Definitely not as good as it used to be. But, you know, it's still it's still some good self-healing. There is um a boss people usually skip, and that's Grimlock. 
This is our first boss, Revelosh. Trogs. I'm a big fan of Trogs. I'm gonna go ahead and put some healing rain down. Preemptive healing. Oh, wait. How is... I wonder... If I cast healing wave, does that heal people? No. Somehow they were taking my healing rain outside of the... The rate... They weren't in the healing rain, but they were getting healed. So I was thinking my healing wave was somehow healing them, but... Don't think that was the case. God damn, this guy is not taking any damage. Why is he? He's like the tankiest boss we've ever have faced. Whew. That was something. But yes, Uldaman is a... It's a... Well, it'd be so much easier if I had the time to just... Hey, level up! Ooh, Spirit Link Totem. Spirit Link Totem is definitely an important ability. I need to put that on my bar. This is the kind of tank I'm talking about here. Oh, you might notice this this little object to uh, summon this boss coming up. This is a reference to Indiana Jones when he puts the staff and opens the door with the light. If anybody has ever seen... I mean, I would hope you've seen Indiana Jones, but you never know. You'd be surprised the amount some people haven't seen. And, um... Yeah, it's... It's a reference to Indiana Jones. You used to have to kill two bosses. There used to be another trog. You had to like kill two bosses and then get one piece and then trade. You'd have to trade them to one person so they have both <clears throat> both pieces of the bottom and upper half. And then, um, <clears throat> oh God. Why is he? I don't know why he was taking damage. And then put the staff there, but now you just you just can just do it. They remove that whole part of it. Oh, this this dude just pulled some garbage. Hey, our tank leveled up. Perfect timing. Defeat Arcadius. Oop, I about just whispered somebody. That's not what I want to do. All right, so Uldaman. Uldaman is an ancient titan vault buried deep within the earth. It is said the titan sealed away a failed experiment there and then moved on to a new project related to the genesis of the dwarves. Tales of a favored treasure containing great knowledge have enticed would-be treasure hunters to dig deeper into the secrets of Uldaman, a task made perilous by the presence of stone defenders, savage trogs, dark tales vendors, and other dangerous blah, 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 blah. All right, so yes, it's a deep underground vault housing... Um, 
I don't know if Arcadius is considered the failed experiment, but he might be. But it might have been. I think he's just a. I think he's just a keeper, though. So he's just protecting something. He's just like a a guard. Uh oh! Silenced. Those bats. Silenced again. Yes, yes, I know I have a new PvP talent. Thank you. You do this every time. Every time I level up. My spirit link totem. I need to put that on my bar. Uh, where would I put that? Purify. Put that as Purify. I'll move it later. When I need to. Did I, uh... Do I not have my purify on my bar? I don't think I have my purify. I need to put that on my bar. So I can get rid of these curses and magic effects. Off my tank. Do that later. Next boss, Obsidian Sentinel. Another one of the bosses you'd have to get their, um... Their, like, pearl. But, again, removed. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Earth Elemental here. So Spirit Link Totem, what that does and why it's important is it summons a totem at the location for six seconds, which reduces <clears throat> damage taken by all party and raid members within 10 yards by 10%. Every one second, the health of all affected players is redistributed such that all the players are at the same percentage of maximum health. So it's a really, really important survival cooldown for your entire raid. It's like one. It's like why you... It's a reason you would bring a... Um, Oh, we're going the wrong way, boys. What are you guys doing? Um, it's a reason you bring a shaman as a raid healer. You want a shaman as your healer in a raid or anything, really. But mainly the raids. Um, because you, ca you cast it when there's a big... A when you know the whole raid's about to take a big amount of damage and um, you can't really heal it up or you, you know s some big crap's about to go down... You cast it, you have all the raids stack within it, and it, it basically makes it so you guys aren't going to die. What are these boys doing? I need to put Purify on my bar so I can get rid of these magic effects. What are they doing? Why? Where did they go? Why are they all the way... What are they doing? What in the heck? They just exited the... Did they just... Oh, and he left. He just logged out. What? What just happened? What? Did they just go out the exit? I think they just went out the back exit. And then he... He went out and died because he's on a PvP world. <laughs> I think he just rage quit. Lol. I guess I'm going to go vote to kick him because he's not going to be back. I, I waited a little bit. There he goes. Yeah, and then this monk. Monk's lost. This is another boss, by the way. That's why he's taking forever to kill. 
You used to have to collect a, uh, a stone off of him and then the one obsidian thing we killed to get to the final boss. Or no. What did you use it for? You got two like rocks off of, or one rock off of each, and then you did something. I can't remember. Did something with them. Hey, he's back. What do we get? We got a warlock. Nice. And I'll have to do that later. I don't I don't know if you guys can see that, but people are messaging me saying people are spamming the surfer or something. Mithril. Follow the paladin. Well, while we're walking. So Revelish, some luminaries in Ironforge's prestigious Explorers League have theorized an ancestral link between their people and the Trogs and pointed towards the Trogs' hoarding of Titan artifacts as a reflection of the Dwarves' own reverence for such wondrous devices. If that is true, the Trog known as Revelush can be considered the Trog equivalent of an archaeologist, although any historical mind adventurers who encounter him would be more inclined to call him a thief. So that was, um, uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm silenced. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. This silence is killing me. Literally. Oh my gosh. These, t <laughs> these damn bats. I need to like stay back because I think it's it's got a a limit. Uh, my earth elemental here. Save some, d save her some from, from some damage. Oh god, this is this is a lot. Throw out my stun too while we're at it. Yes, lightning, chain lightning. Next boss. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and use heroism here so we can kill this guy faster. Yeah, there you guys go. Yeah, use, use that heroism. Why are these bosses getting so tanky? We did it! Galligan Firehammer. Quick, quick bop hoge. What a name. Quick, quick bop. Quick, quick bop hoge. Yes, please stay in the range of my healing totem. Thank you. Oh, 
Uh oh. Just get my circle, boys. Getting. You guys are supposed to get in the circle. When you see the circle, you're supposed to get in the circle. I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked. Help. I'm being attacked. I need your assistance. We are having troubles back here. I don't think you know what's going on. That's okay. Oh, oh boy. That is not good. I don't have my earth elemental up either. Oh no! She's taking reduced healing. I just got a spam healing surge. It's the only way she's gonna live. Oh no, I'm oom. Oh no. It's a lot. It's, it's, it's a lot. Okay, we're going for the, the spamming of healing wave again. Whew. Okay, we did it. We survived. Grimlock? They actually... She's actually doing Grimlock. That's... Awesome. What do you get? Oh, my inventory is full. Darn. Got some new pants though. Freaking love Riptide. Oh my god, these drugs are hurting her so so much. I shall spam a healing wave because I can't do it with healing surge. I'm running I'm running low. I don't have any water, do I? Do I have any water? I do. I have moon moonberry juice. Is that good enough? That might be outdated. Yeah, morning morning uh it's a little outdated. Where are we going? Oh. I didn't even see it. Damn, she's fast. What the hell? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, she divine shield. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, right. She loses aggro with that, though. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, I went the wrong way. Where's she at? Oh, I went the wrong way. I wasn't even paying attention. Totally went the wrong way. It's all right, we're good. She is not tanky, <laughs> can I just say? I mean, I know she's pulling a lot. But, not tanky. You are not tanky, my friend. Not at all.
I like healing these kind of dungeons, though, where the tank is doing a lot of pulls. Keeps me on my toes. And when you're playing a healer, that's all you can ask for. You don't want it easy. Well, at least I don't as a healer. I want I want some I want some nerve-wracking saves where I'm just like, oh, I can't believe I just saved him. Makes me feel like a beast. I should drink while we're doing this. The altar of the keepers. Just eat. Just keep eating. 50%'s good enough. Oh. When they die, they explode. Oh no. Too bad I'm like one of the best AoE healers in the game. Besides, I don't know. They've kind of made like a lot of them. That used to be the shaman's upside is that they were good at AoE more so than other classes. But they've, over the years, they've kind of just made it so all, <laughs> that's kind of like all of the healers now. Like druids have the Everbloom. And the, the wild growth is freaking good. And then you just put rejuvenation on everybody. And then you put um, the wild mushroom under your group. And that's just, you can't even beat that. And then and then um Yeah, priests don't even get me started. Discipline priests probably not that good at AoE healing, but holy priest right now at AoE. Whew, can't compete. Paladins. Paladins, I'd say maybe some of the weaker AoE. All they really have is um they just have light of dawn really to heal a bunch of people. Who else? Oh, Mistweaver Monks. Yeah, Mistweaver Monks are really good at AoE, he healing the whole group right now. Especially with Revival. Psh, your raid's all dying. Revival. Heal the whole freaking raid. And then the Essence font. They might be the best, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. Them and Druids. Shaman's kind of got screwed this expansion when it comes to Resto. But it's been like that for a while. They're, I don't know, in Legion, though. Legion, Legion, they did Shaman right. And then BFA, BFA, they're kind of, they kind of got the short end of the stick, this expansion. It's usually, it usually is like that, though. All right, final boss. Here he is, Arcadus. Ooh. All right. This should be pretty simple. Basically, his fight is the longer you fight him, he, he summons more and more of these stone men to come alive and help him. So the longer you're in the fight, more mobs you're going to be fighting, but... You can kill him so fast in BFA that it doesn't really do a whole lot. No, well, maybe not. Maybe we're not going to kill him fast enough. Hurry up, get it done. Heroism. Woo! There it is. Uldaman. Done, just like that. But, before you leave, if you come in the back here, you get your loot. But that's not it. There's an extra quest here. The Platinum Discs. The centerpiece of this treasure chamber are four Platinum Discs, each adorned with numerous symbols. And so then you have to talk to this guy, and I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I read the whole thing in my Paladin Let's Play, so if you want to... If you want to... Uh, if you want to know all of it, 
go to that let's play but it's he's basically talking about the creation of dwarves pretty much shit need to teleport out teleport back in and then I'm gonna read the adventure guy gosh damn it Hurry! Teleport to dungeon. Gotta turn in all these quests, man. Wash your back. I will not wash my back. What are you trying to say? Trying to say I stink? Rude. I mean, we almost got like three levels from that. We started at 55, we got 56 like right at the beginning, then 57, we're like 67%, it's freaking 50, 58 dude, what the hell, what the hell, that's pretty good, that's pretty good, alright, alright, so we need to go back to Uldaman, where's Uldaman at? And then, so Iron Ira, the girl that you opened the door, big door for with the the um, staff, the Titans did not construct the Uldaman complex directly, but utilized various servants to create its megalithic hulls. The Pantheon entrusted the Watcher Ariana, or Iron Ira, or however you pronounce that, with overseeing the construction and maintenance of Uldaman. But as time passed, the once awe-inspiring vault fell to ruin within the map chamber. Aranara has spent millennia in a form of stasis, analyzing the original master's plan drawn up by Gizagor Kaz Goroth and attempting to find a way to restore the complex to its original functionality. Obsidian Sentinel. The Obsidian Sentinel was responsible for guarding Uldaman's secrets until it was corrupted by an unknown force. Originally crafted from the same stone as the halls of Uldaman itself, this keeper has had the majority of its body replaced with dark glass capable of reflecting spells. Whatever was responsible for Obsidian Sentinel's transformation must be incredible potent, for it's not easy to alter the enchanted stone of a Titan construct. Ancient Stonekeeper. One of many golems that staffed and operated the Great Titan Vault, the Ancient Stonekeeper was part of a small group that served as an intermediary between the Watcher's left and control facility and their many servants. With the corruption of the Obsidian Sentinel, the Ancient Stonekeeper is the last of its kind, performing its duty by protecting the secrets of the Titans as best it can until its inevitable shutdown. Galgan Firehammer was the dwarf... That I used heroism on the first time. Uh, reacting to the discovery of Voldemon by Bronzebeard Dwarves, the Dark Iron Clan mounted an invasion of the vault to stop their ancestral foes from accessing the powerful artifacts within. Galgan Firehammer, a senator from Shadowforge City, was sent to oversee the continued evacuation of Voldemon so that the Emperor may harness or excavation uh, that may harness, harness the artifacts' destructive potential against the Dark Iron's enemies. And then Grimlock. In Trog society, the biggest, strongest, and most vicious Trog often becomes chieftain through displays of power. Grimlock is, an, is a comparative genius in that he has maintained control of the Stone Vault Trogs through intimidation and what might be considered crude psychological warfare, having trained a deadly basilisk. Grimlock uses the threat of petrification by his beast to keep any would-be usurpers in line. And then Arcadus, the last guy. Deeper than Uldaman is a chamber containing one of the greatest treasures of the Titans, created by Norganon himself. However, thus far no explorers have managed to gain access to the relic for any attempt at doing so activates the Great Watcher Arcadus, an immense guardian who easily dispatches treasure seekers through his powerful attacks and veritable army of servants. Crafted from some of the oldest, strongest stone taken from Uldaman's depths, Arcadus is a foe as formidable as he is ancient. And there you go. That is Ultimon, guys. Holding Norganon's discs. 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 But, uh, yeah, that's going to end it here for today, guys. When we come back, you know the drill. Keep on keeping on. But until then, guys, peace off. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked the video, leave a like. And make sure to share it around the internet and worldwide. You can check out my Patreon links in the description and on the screen now. Don't forget to come by our Discord and say hello to everybody. And last but not least, make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Peace out.